The problem statement that we're trying to solve for with respect to water is access to safe drinking water for everyone all the time, regardless of where they are. Roughly about 4 billion people globally do not have routine access to water. So they're experiencing water scarcity, water stress on an annual basis to varying degrees. That's 4 billion people. Roughly about 1 to 3 million people in the U.S. don't have access to safe water. So this is not an emerging economy issue. It's, it's here and now. You have people that are some, in some cases are just far away from where there's like drinkable water. Um, and so just the, the tyranny of geography can be a, like a, a big problem that, I mean, you got women in Africa carrying water for hours just to get water to their village. Uh, in other cases, it's simply a lack of awareness. Uh, people are drinking dirty water and they don't even realize it. A lot of times people just go to the faucet and turn it on and there's water there and so they think everything's great. As you could see in, in Flint, and it's not until something bad starts to happen that people start to realize that something's wrong. So maybe Maybe as, as simple as creating a, a affordable, scalable monitoring solution that allows people to see what the quality of water is. I hate to say it's lunacy, but it is lunacy. Appalling numbers, appalling that we in some ways accept that we're chipping away at the edges as opposed to going big and really looking at what has failed. My military experience, you had to carry the water that you were going to bring with you for anything that you were doing, but it definitely created an appreciation for water that like a lot of people just don't ever experience because they're kind of used to like, oh, well, I'll just walk over here and get more water if I need it. I spent really the early part of my career putting in water supply wells in places like Puerto Rico, the Northeast, in addition to cleaning up contaminated groundwater. It became personal very, very early on and that's all I do. I think the solution for water is meaning that nobody has to worry about it anymore. The key for us being successful is uh, how do we kind of pull the parts out of the problem where we think we can. It won't be easy, but nothing is, but we can absolutely do that, and there, there are models in the XPRIZE that have worked. Deeply challenging problems with all the moving parts that you've laid out can be solved.